Hey y'all, hope everyone's doing well. Okay, today I'm gonna scrap this microwave. I'm going to do a complete breakdown of this piece by piece, finding out how much everything is and we'll tally it up as we go so we can see how much scrapping a microwave is actually worth compared to just shredding it as it is right now. This microwave weighs 32 pounds and 12 ounces. So as shred, that would be $2.62, which is not too bad. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is get this power cord cut off. Just go ahead and clip that right there. And I'll go ahead and get the brass removed from there. All right, so we got the insulated wire that is 16 cents. And then we got the brass for two cents. So we're up to 18 cents. Okay, the next thing we need to get to that motor on the bottom of the microwave. Oh, right. So under here is a motor, if you didn't know. Go ahead and remove this. All right, there's the motor. I'm gonna get this processed. Scrapping Scotland has a good video on how to do these. I will link that video in the description. All right, we got two cents of steel, 11 cents of copper, and one penny of brass, 14 cents for all that. So now we're up to 32 cents. Now it's time to get inside the microwave. Okay, so when I normally scrap a microwave, I just open up this end, pull all the guts out, close this back up. But for the sake of making a video, I'm going to go ahead and take this whole entire cover off. Okay, so now we're inside. Before I continue on, never open up a microwave when it's still plugged in. Right here is a capacitor, and it's a high voltage capacitor, and you do not want to get shocked by that. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is remove this transformer. Oh, right, there's our transformer. We will get to that at the end. Let's get all this wire cleaned up. So we've got 18 cents of insulated wire. We have eight cents of brass for 26 cents. So I think we're up to 58 cents now. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and remove some just miscellaneous pieces like this light socket because we got some brass ends. We got some brass here, the fuse, there's brass. So we've got a light socket. Got a little sensor. We got this fuse. Now we got the fuse holder. These are all brass. Got one, two, and three. We'll just have a quick look at all that miscellaneous stuff that I got out of there. I'll get this stuff processed. But I'll show you real quick on one of these. You just got to separate that cover there. And then we got some brass with some silver contacts on there. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so I got all that processed. And here's all the brass for six cents. A little bit of copper, not much. There's a one cent. And then the dirty brass, we have two cents for a total of nine cents. So now we're up to 67 cents. Okay, now we'll pull the magnetron out. All right, the magnetron. Just want to get this lid off. We've got some copper inside there. And I just 
clip it, clip it, and then just pull it up, clip that off, same with this side, this piece of brass right here, you want to get that. Need to pry this piece of steel ring off of there. Get the magnet out. We'll get the other magnet. And now here is the magnetron. That's what it looks like. You just got to remove these aluminum fins. Now you can just cut straight into here with your angle grinder and then pull them all off. Now this magnetron. This center piece is copper. I have a video of doing these. I will link that in the description. Okay, so we've got 11 cents of steel, one cent of brass, one cent of stainless steel, and now we've got 68 cents in copper. And then we've got 10 cents of aluminum which makes 91 cents for all of this. Now we're up to $1.58. I did include the magnets in the steel, although I'm going to keep that. All right, we've got the fan left, we've got the circuit board, and let's not forget the transformer. That's where the big money's gonna be. Okay, so go ahead and, well, that was easy. And there's two screws here. Okay, we got this fan motor out of here. Let's see if it's copper. And yeah, it's definitely copper. They usually are copper. We also have some copper right here. CU Strapping has got a good short about how to do these. I will link that in the description. Okay, we've got 29 cents of copper, three cents of steel, one cent in brass, two cents in dirty aluminum, and three cents in clean aluminum. So that's 38 cents for that motor. Now we are up to a dollar 96. All that's left to remove is now this circuit board. And there is the circuit board. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this relay. Now I'm gonna remove this. There's a piece of brass. And then of course, I'm gonna remove this. And then I'm gonna remove this flat pack IC chip. IC chip sell for $8 a pound at boardsort.com. Okay, we got 20 cents in copper. We've got one cent in the steel, one cent in the brass, three cents for the IC chip and two cents for this low grade circuit board. That's 27 cents for all of that. And now we are up to $2.23. But now we are left with this transformer. So we got some brass connectors right there. That coil is copper, so that's pretty cool. And then this one's gonna be aluminum. Okay, so this has got to get broken down. I have a video showing you four different ways to scrap transformers. I will link that in the description. Okay, so now this is when things get really exciting. So we've got the copper right here. $3.48 just for that. The aluminum, 17 cents. Isn't that wild? The wire, two cents in wire. We got one cent in brass. And then we've got 65 cents in steel. That comes out to $4.33. So now we're up to $6.56. The steel here, 
Most scrapyards will buy this as prepared number one. They might call it HMS or heavy steel, but not every yard does that. So I calculated this as shred steel today. Okay, so this would be a microwave of 50-50. One aluminum winding, one copper winding. But let's say it was a full copper. So we'll remo remove the aluminum. And then now we would have $6.96 in copper for a grand total of $7.64, which would bring our grand total up to $9.87. But if it was a double aluminum, that would be $0.34 cents plus all that would be a dollar two for a grand total of $3.25. Now keep in mind, we still got the shell of the microwave to weigh. So let me get to that. Okay, so the rest of the steel with the shell and everything came out to a $1.52. So for a microwave with a 50-50 transformer, one copper, one aluminum, that would be $8 for everything. If it was just an aluminum transformer, it would be $4.77 for everything. But if it was a double copper transformer, which they still do exist, the grand total would be $11.39. And that's pretty darn good, in my opinion. So there you have it. That is what you could probably expect scrapping a microwave. Now you know what to go after or to not scrap it at all. The choice is yours. Thank you all so much for watching. I really, really, truly appreciate it. Thank you to all of my subscribers. Just make sure you hit that thumbs up. It does help this video and I really appreciate that. If you're new to my channel, I would ask that you would consider to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. I'd love to have you here. This was a lot of fun. Thank you all so much for joining me. I just, I love doing this. I love scrapping. I love doing YouTube. So thank you to every single one of you. God, thank you for a wonderful day. God, thank you for helping me make this video. Lord, I just ask that you will bless everyone watching this video, God. I lift them all up to you and ask that you would just do amazing things in their lives, breakthroughs in their lives, miracles in their lives, God. Restore broken relationships. Restore broken family. Lord, heal their broken bodies. Heal their broken minds. Lord, whatever it is that they need, I just pray now in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, y'all. I'll see you in the next video.